Hey guys, how's it going? This is Logan here with Hydra 572. Today I'm reviewing the Spyderco Resilience. I'll start at the front, move to the back as usual. Uh, the tip, it's adequate. I wrote broad, and what I meant by that is the uh, grind between the tip and the uh, on-ground part of the blade is a little bit longer than it would be on the rest of the edge of the knife. The tip itself is a little bit narrow to the point that I'm afraid if you were uh, to abuse it, you could get it to snap, but like I said, you'd probably have to abuse it. It's definitely not acute enough that I'm worried about it breaking in normal usage. The knife has plenty of belly, as you guys can see. Blade profile I think is awesome. It kind of looks like a food preparation type blade, but it's a very capable EDC knife as well. Uh, the grind, I thought it was a great full flat grind. The steel that you get is 8CR13 MOV, which is an awesome steel, um, a budget steel in this price range, and it does really well. The retention is decent. It's definitely not a problem. I do touch mine up pretty often, um, which, you know, the sharpening is awesome. It's very easy on the Spyderco Sharp Maker. The 40 degrees gives you a really beautiful edge, barely any effort. Even after some pretty hard use, a couple swipes gets it just shaving sharp again. Uh, deployment with the little zip tie modification you guys see um, is pretty good and the spider hole does make it really easy to uh, do that modification and uh, then you can wave it open out of your pocket. Without it you've got the uh, thumb hole opening, you can do your spider drops and use it as basically a thumb stud and the knife is fine for doing a rotational opening. The lock is a liner lock and I'm no liner lock fan but if I have to have liner locks I'd prefer they be like this one. It's pretty beefy, it works pretty well and it's jimped. You can get your thumb on it pretty easy with this little cut in here. Uh, no cut for left-handed people, sorry. Um, so there is that. Play, with how tight I have the pivot, got a little bit of side-to-side -side play but I've got the pivot pretty loose for my standards just so I can flick it open with the hole real easily. Um, I'm sure you could tighten it up and have no issue and there's no front to back play. Uh, you've got G10 handle scales which are a low 10 G, low traction G10 variety. The uh, ergonomics are great, you know, not a whole lot of retention but they didn't design this as a fighting knife and for an EDC type knife it's got fine uh, retention. Uh, jimping, yep, got a good old jimped thumb ramp back here, uh, very comfortable. The lanyard hole, yes it does, as you can see I've got my little amateur made lanyard on there. Presentation for Spyderco, solid as usual, came very sharp and beautiful looking. Uh, the screws are Torx screws, which is what I prefer. The clip, I'll flip it around, is a great clip, very deep carry, not much of the knife sticking out, and uh, yeah, no issues there. Usage, um, I said primarily an EDC knife. It could work out as a secondary defensive knife, but it's not the first I'd pick. It's just not designed that way. Um, but as an EDC knife, you're not going to find a whole lot of knives better than the Spyderco Resilience. Uh, it really is one of my favorites, and it's very cheap. The overview, basically the same thing, guys. It's a $40 knife, and if you don't have any quality knives, buy this thing right now. Start carrying it a little bit, and you'll fall in love with having a quality knife. Uh, so pass-fail, obviously a pass. Uh, and then I've got my little specifications corner over here. Blade length, four and a half inches. Blade thickness, one eighth of an inch. Overall length, 9.38 inches. Closed length, 5.25 inches. On Blade HQ, it's $47, which is weird. I feel like it's been cheaper than that recently. Um, but on eBay, I found one for $41 shipped. So uh, there's that. If you guys haven't checked this thing out yet, pick it up. You'll love it. Um, I mean, I realize everybody else on YouTube has said that, but now I'm saying it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more of the same.